I told y'all, man, look at these field Negroes. Look at this shit. Look at these field Negroes. You know what I'm saying? I, I told you guys this was all a plan by the slave NFL white supremacist owners. They got together and they said, what can we do to control these niggers, these slaves? Okay. What can we do to control these slaves in response to the rogue white supremacists Clockwork Orange, a.k.a. Donald Trump. What can we do to respond to Clockwork Orange? Well, let's lock arms. Let the players lock arms. You can kneel under my discretion. Okay? You can do that under my discretion. We're not listening to that rogue white supremacist Clockwork Orange. We're not listening to him. We're billionaires. Okay? We don't listen to orders from anybody. Not even Clockwork Orange. We're billionaires. We follow our direction and we follow and abide by the shield. Which is the NFL. Which is white supremacy. That's all it is. So like I said, don't be fooled by this man. Jerry Jones kneeling. With his slave players, really, this is a one-off. And I and I watched uh, Undisputed with Shannon Sharp, I and mean, he has some great points on his response to what happened uh, this past week and with all the events that transpired in both NFL and NBA and stuff like that. And he was spot on when Shannon Sharp talked about why are why are these damn NFL players acting so upset now. Because they were called sons of bitches. Right? <laughs> when we know Donald Trump, aka Clockwork Orange, has done and said things way more worse than that. But when you when he directly talks about the NFL as sons of bitches, oh y'all gotta stand together. But where were y'all at when all these unarmed black men, women, and children were gunned down by race soldiers in this country? With which is what with the progenitor of what this protest was about from Colin Kaepernick. It was about domestic terrorism. I don't like to say police brutality. Domestic ter terrorism coming from race soldiers masquerading as police officers. Racial injustices in this country. Racism, white supremacy in this country. That's what the protest is about. Started by Colin Kaepernick where were y'all at on that front but yet when clockwork orange wants to call y'all sons of bitches y'all want to band together see yo, you guys are, you guys are the NFL players not only are they field negroes they're hoes they're hoes out on the track in the hot ass sun you know trying to get their their, their pimp that money for the end of the day. They listen to their pimp for words of advice, for instructions, etc., etc. That's what they do. They're listening. And they have to abide by the rules set by the pimp, which the, which is their slave master owners, such as Jerry Jones. Right? That's what they're doing right now. <laughs> you know, this is this whole thing here. It's a one-off. And, and, and that's another great point that Shannon Shaw talked about on Undisputed. This is a one-off, man. Next week, this they're going to act like this shit never happened. Ain't no, more, ain't no more locking arms. Ain't no more, you know, kneeling as far as the majority of the players. There's going to be a, a few of them, you know, two, three weeks from now, still probably kneeling and stuff like that. But for the most part, it's going to be forgotten. And the NFL continues to play their games and stuff like that. That's what's going to happen. This is going to be a foregone conclusion in the next three to four weeks. You know, it's going to take <laughs> it's going to take clockwork orange to come back and call y'all 
literally niggers, you know, get these niggers off the field. If 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 Clockwork Orange says some directly to the slave players, they'll respond. But when it comes to domestic terrorism, right? AKA police brutality, racial injustices, unarmed killings of men, women, and children in this country by race soldiers masquerading, masquerading as police officers in this country. Nah, nowhere to be found when it comes to locking arms and dealing. And the owners want to act like they care. Okay, when this is just a ploy for them to act like they really care when they don't. You know, it's a mechanism to control their players to act like they're in solidarity, they're all together in, in unison and, and, and stuff like that. When again, this is a one off. And next week, the next couple of weeks is next game, next week, this is going to be a foregone conclusion. They're not going to lock arms again. They're not going to kneel like they're doing right now. Majority of the players are doing that. They're not, do, they're not going to care next week at all. It's going to be. Business as usual before the game starts. Nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody cares. That, that's what the true definition of a hoe is. You have to uh, you have to really be affected by someone calling you a son of a bitch for you to band together. But yet the bloodshed of black and brown unarmed people in this country being shot and killed by domestic terrorists, a.k.a. police officers in this country and racism, white supremacy in this country goes unnoticed. That lets you know that the power of white supremacy, the power of these mental disorders that were created by epigenetics, which are controlled by the dominant white society, which are Stockholm Syndrome, Cognitive dissonance, post traumatic slavery disorder or syndrome that lets you know the power of this mental illness has affected all of us people classified as black or African American in this country. That's the power of that, man. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, this, uh, like I said, this whole thing about the odors who, and of course, I talked about my last video. You know, majority of these owners, they support clockwork ores. They donated millions of dollars to his, you know, his administration, his inauguration campaign, whatever the case may be. Uh, they just don't like being told what to do because they're billionaires. And if the fact that clockwork ores is going way off white supremacist code, so they know that clockwork Orange, a.k.a. Donald Trump, is acting really reckless right now. Really reckless. Okay, it's it's narcissistic behavior coming from Clockwork Orange. Narcissistic white supremacist behavior. You know, Clockwork Orange is trying to create his own narrative when it comes to white supremacy, like I said in my last videos. He's creating his own page. He's stimulating his white supremacist base. And they are, for, they love it. They love it. Absolutely love it. So all you damn, you know, all you naive cools talking about we live in a post-racial America. These are straight facts. Another election, if another election happened today, Donald Trump, a.k.a. Clockwork Orange, would be elected or selected again today. Point blank and simple. We live in a system of racism, white supremacy. That is actual fact. Point blank and simple. All right. So anyway, those are my quick thoughts on the, the Jerry Jones situation with his dealing with his slave players. This is a one off next week. It's going to be business as usual with the regular games and nobody's going to kneel and protest for the majority of the players like they're doing, you know, this past weekend. Not going to happen because obviously they don't care about racial injustices and domestic terrorism and police brutality. Uh, they don't care about that. But you, you care about being called a son of a bitch. That's for sure. That oh that we gotta lock arms. He calls the sons of bitches. Let's lock arms. 
I'm the older of you guys. I, I want to lock arms with you guys. I feel you're paid. I've, I've never been called a son of a bitch, but let me lock arms with you guys. That kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Like I said, don't be fooled by this shit. Man. It's just all PR propaganda. And uh, it's going to be business as usual next week. None of these owners care. None of these none of these slave master players is going to question their goddamn pimp, a.k.a. slave owners. They're not going to question that. Why is it Colin Kaepernick signed to a team? Why did that dude from the owner of the Jacksonville Jaguars or any of the owners side Colin Kaepernick? But you guys were bad together because of because of Clockwork Orange called y'all son of a bitch or sons of bitches. Got to here, man. <laughs> Anyway, those are my thoughts on that, family. Leave your comments down below in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about Jerry Jones, kneeling, and the rest of these owners acting like they care with their slave players. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section, family. Until next time, Chauncey, a.k.a. the Black Separatist, signing out. Peace.